ஹாய் நீட் ஆஸ்பிரண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு வாரி மெடிக்கல் அகாடமி வாரி மெடிக்கல் அகாடமி சார்பாக அனைத்து விதமான டாபிக் சார்ந்த ஒவ்வொரு வீடியோவும் இனி வரும் நாட்களில் உங்களுக்கு வரும் உங்களுக்கு இதை சார்ந்த சந்தேகங்கள் கேள்விகள் எதுவாக இருந்தாலும் கமெண்ட்ஸில் பாஸ் பண்ணுங்க எங்க எக்ஸ்பர்ட் ஃபேக்கல்ட்டி மெம்பர்ஸ் போடுற வீடியோஸ் பிடிச்சிருந்ததுன்னா ஷேர் பண்ணிக்கோங்க அந்த வீடியோ ரெகுலராக உங்களுக்கு வரணும்னா சேனலை சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணிக்கோங்க தேங்க்யூ விஸ் ஆல் தி பெஸ்ட் குட் ஆஃப்டர்நூன் ஸ்டூடெண்ட் டுடே ஐம் கோயிங் டு எக்ஸ்பிளைன் நியூ சாப்டர் கெமிக்கல் கைனடிக்ஸ் It's a very important for a NEET uh, and uh, GE also, Chemical Kinetics. What is explained about uh, Chemical Kinetics? The Chemical Kinetics explain about rate of reaction, how it is a uh, fast reaction or slow reaction or moderate reaction. Explain only uh, Chemical Kinetics. Rate of reaction, what, what topics we have to discuss in Chemical Kinetics? What is the rate of reaction? and average rate of reaction and instantaneous rate of reaction what are the factors affecting rate of reaction and one is the concentration concentration means first order second order zero order <coughs> and third order but in need uh, they are not asking question only the graphical representations are important and the formula based on k is equal to 2.303 t log a0 by a what is a0 a0 means initial concentration a means final concentration now next what are big arrhenius equation that is the temperature effect on temperature what are the factors affecting rate of reaction and collision theory what is the collision theory and the, these are the topics of life first order second order rate law how to write the order of reaction coming to what is the chemical kinetics chemical kinetics is a branch of physical chemistry which deals the about rate of reaction here actually the simple uh, micro molecules reaction mechanism and slow step and fast step can be decided by chemical kinetics but example of thermodynamics in macro systems in macro systems we can apply the thermodynamics thermodynamics explain about feasibility of reaction whether it is reaction proceed or not explain delta g is negative delta g is negative means spontaneous delta g is positive means that is non spontaneous whether reaction is possible or not explain na possible or not explained by thermodynamics but what is the explain of kinetics chemical kinetics chemical kinetics explain about rate of reaction what is the rate of reaction rate of reaction means change in concentration change in concentration concentration of reactants change in concentration of reactant or product change in concentration of reactant or product with respect to time with respect to time that is called rate of reaction what is rate of reaction the change in concentration of reactant or product with respect to time that is rate of reaction generally initially the concentration of reactants are more when time goes time when time passes the reactants concentration is decreases product concentration is increases yes sir when reactant concentration is decreases and product concentration increases now what are the units of rate of reaction now rate of reaction is equal to concentration concentration by here is the time now concentration expressed in concentration expressed in mole by liter and time in second now what are the units mole and liter inverse second inverse this is the unit of rate of reaction rate of reaction mole liter inverse second inverse if you take gases for rate of reaction for gases rate of reaction for gases that is atm per t time we can write atm and second inverse this is the rate of reaction for gases and this liquids means mole per liter second mole liter inverse second inverse now what is the 
rate of reaction student change in concentration of reactant product change in concentration of reactant or product with respect to time that is called rate of reactions actually some chemical reactions are very fast some chemical reactions are very slow some chemical reactions are moderate there are three types of uh, reactions will be explained for example ionic reactions ionic reactions example AgNO3 AgNO3 reaction with NaCl sodium chloride it form AgCl precipitate plus NaNO3 sodium nitrate is formed here the rate of reaction is it complete the 10 key power minus 6 seconds now ionic this type of reactions for ionic reaction rate cannot be determined rate of reaction cannot be determined very fast reactions example of fast reaction AgNO3 fast reaction AgNO3 plus NaCl gives rise to AgCl plus NaNO3 for this type of reaction rate cannot be determined if for example slow reaction what is the example of slow reaction and rusting of iron rusting of iron if rusting of iron it takes uh, more years one inch of rust found means it take more years that's why for this reaction also rate cannot be determined rate of reaction cannot be determined for this reactions also we even fast reaction even very slow reaction rate cannot be rate of reaction cannot be determined if you coming to the moderate reaction N2 plus 3 H2 V rise to 2 NH3 actually this is forward and backward equilibrium 2 NH3 in a Haber process ammonia synthesis for this reaction here is uh, nitrogen bonds NN bonds are uh, breaking nitrogen bonds are breaking here is hydrogen hydrogen bond is breaking to form formation of NH3 NH3 for this reaction for moderate reaction rate of rate of reaction can be determined determined rate can be determined which type of reaction this moderate reactions moderate reactions moderate reaction rate can be determined what is the rate of reaction can be rate can be determined determined and uh, for example if you take fast reaction it complete very very fast 10 key power minus 6 seconds that's why rate cannot be determined for fast reaction rate cannot be determined very slow reaction rate of reaction cannot be determined even moderate reaction rate can be determined now, now slow step is the rate determining step now we can observe what is average rate of reaction what is average rate of reaction to graphical representation we can observe what is the instantaneous rate of reaction what is the average rate of reaction we can check the first one is r average r average means rate of average rate of reaction we can determine like this if you write r average that is equal to we can write a reactant converted to product reactant converted to product now average rate of reaction is equal to minus delta r by delta t delta r by delta t that is equal to what we have to write delta r means minus r2 r2 concentration minus r1 r1 concentration by that the delta t means t2 minus t1 t2 minus t1 why i mention here is minus because when concentration of reactants is decreases when time time is passing on concentration of reactant is decreases and if you take p means that is equal to plus delta p by delta t that is equal to p2 concentration minus p1 concentration by t2 minus t1 t2 minus t1 this is the average rate of reaction what is average rate of reaction 
द रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन मेजर्ड सर्टेन पीरियड सर्टेन पीरियड ड्यूरिंग द कोर्स ऑफ रिएक्शन दट इज कॉल्ड एवरेज रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन वट इज एवरेज रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन द रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन क्रॉस मेजर सर्टेन पीरियड ऑफ टाइम ड्यूरिंग द कोर्स ऑफ रिएक्शन दट इज कॉल्ड एवरेज रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन एंड वॉट इज द इंस्टेंटेनियस रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन द रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन डिटरमाइन एट पर्टिकुलर इंस्टेंट एट पर्टिकुलर इंस्टेंट ड्यूरिंग द कोर्स ऑफ रिएक्शन दट इज कॉल्ड इंस्टेंटेनियस रिएक्शन एंड वी कैन नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी कैन प्रॉपरली एक्सप्लेन एवरेज रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन एंड इंस्टेंटेनियस रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन थैंक यू एंड फॉलो माई वीडियोज एंड कॉमेंट इट एंड सब्सक्राइब इट